from Get Fit Chronicles and it's been uh, I don't know I think probably about like six weeks or so since my last video but really was trying to take some time to just get me together <laughs> a lot happened in a really short amount of time and um, also I don't know if you guys looked at my video about my dad and so um, that was something that came up about May or so as well so um, just trying to just take some time, decompress, get some priorities in order, and so um, I don't know if uh, you guys have ever done this to know that this is really a lot more time consuming than I expected and imagined it to be. I'm pretty sure Britt probably feels the same way, and I know she's definitely had some stuff going on, um, some exciting things that I guess I will let her um, let you guys know about um, whenever she posts her next video. Um, but I wanted to do this video, um, since I haven't done one in so long, on the top 10 things that I feel like have been my dieting failure, like have contributed to me just really getting nowhere with um, dieting, exercising, losing weight, all those things. Um, I guess particularly just trying to bring it all together. Um, I've mentioned like some things in my dieting frustrations video and my dieting distractions video of um, just kind of some things that I felt like were just getting in the way. Um, so I'm gonna go through a quick um, top 10 that I jotted down pretty quick to, because <laughs> I pretty much know exactly where I've gone wrong for the most part um, at this point. And in the last six weeks I have had um, some success. I was having a really hard time, if you guys watched some of my other videos, where I felt like I was just staying at the same number forever, like nothing I was doing was working. I was just up and down and up and down within the same probably five pounds for like a good four, three, four months or so, um, maybe even more, I don't know. Um, because of the holidays, you know, things get a little bit blurry too, so. <laughs> um, but I definitely just felt like I was just not getting anywhere. So last six weeks were better. I lost about seven, eight pounds. I wanna say seven or eight because technically it was eight, but today it's only seven. Um, and then I also was sick and I got the stomach flu and lost about five, six pounds in probably like three or four days. Um, and so now my body's just like getting back right with um, just making sure I have the right amount of water in it now. Um, probably got quite a bit dehydrated over those few days. So I know that that dramatic weight loss was weight. Um, but I'm not obviously gonna get into too much of my stomach flu issues. <laughs> but so just my top 10 real quick of things that I feel like I've done wrong. Um, then I'll just add in a few things of like how I tried to change that and um, in the last six weeks particularly. And um, they've been, they've been good changes. I mean, I've seen success in it, like I said. Losing eight pounds, like I feel like, you know, I'm seeing people that are like down like minus 13 and minus 20 and, you know, like insane numbers and stuff in a month and a little bit disgruntled. So my little eight feels a little bit like, hmm. But um, considering where I was um, and feeling like I was just going nowhere, I, I will take it. So um, top 10 things that I feel like if I would have known then, <laughs> um, I would say eating too little is one of the big things in skipping meals. I think that all of the information that's out there talking about, oh, you need to create a calorie deficit or you're not going to lose weight. Okay, but there's just, I don't think there's a significant amount of information on how to do that safely and then also the information that is out there is not gonna work for everybody. It's like, I mean, it's just gotta be so specific because if you're working out, then you have to eat more. If you're not working out so much, then you have to eat little. And then on days that you work out, you have to get more like proteins and you know certain fats. And it's just the way the whole macro system works is exhausting. Like it's no wonder that this is so difficult. And 
it's sad that people that have not gone through it really just make it seem like, well, if you ate less donuts or if you stopped eating at Burger King every day, because I don't eat at Burger King every day. I haven't freaking had a donut and I can't tell you how freaking long, you know, like it's definitely not about that. Um, I just think it's, you know, once you get to a point, like, and you're too far gone, it's like bringing yourself back is not as simple as cutting this out or cutting that out because then it gets into, you know, you cutting out the wrong things or you cutting out too much, which leads into my second one, which is eating less carbs. So try to eat less carbs. Didn't get me anywhere. So I'm legit miserable. <laughs> like I'm glad I really didn't see anybody that week that I was trying to do it legit miserable um, just and I mean it, it wasn't just that week but in that one week particular that I was really really trying to be like okay what is going on what can I change what can I do differently um, that was a bad sad depressing week of not eating carbs <laughs> does not work um, and I I don't know if um, you guys watch my other videos to know, but I'm not a fan of fad diets. I'm not going to be that person that's like, I'm just going to drink smoothies every day for like 30 days and see how much weight I lose. Like, I don't do that because I feel like I am not doing anything that I'm not going to be able to do for the rest of my life. Just like the whole keto thing. I'm not going to lie. I'm interested and I'm very tempted to do keto. But I'm sorry, that's a sad, miserable life for me and not to ever have bread and pastas and stuff like that. And I mean, just have it within moderation. Like that's how I feel like is going to be the best thing. And, you know, I have lost weight in the last few years. I have been able to keep a substantial amount of it off, maybe a fourth. Well, really at this point, I mean, at this point, like five or six pounds I haven't been able to keep off. So I've lost a total of like four. 40 39 technically and then technically right now it's only 33 so whatever but the point is is that I'm not going to do anything that I'm not going to be able to do forever and um, I'm tempted to do something and say well I'm going to try this for a little while and see if I can lose a good five or ten pounds and maybe if I just feel like I'm plateauing, but I haven't lost enough weight to be at a plateau. Um, it just, you know, I, I've just had to make modifications and change some things that I was doing. And so, you know, I've seen results with that. So I don't think it was anything about me being at a plateau. Um, I'd love to blame that though. Um, doing more cardio. I'm so frustrated with this whole situation because why can't I do more cardio and lose weight? Why? Why shouldn't I be able to burn more calories doing cardio and lose weight? Why? Why not? Because it just doesn't freaking work that way. But I'm sorry, that makes all the sense in the world to me. I've read all the research about why lifting weights and blah, 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 and doing this and doing that and limiting your cardio and actually doing more strength training and blah, 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 and HIIT and all that. I'm not healthy enough for HIIT. So, <laughs> like, HIIT will kill me right now. So I need to be able to freaking get on a treadmill or walk or, you know, jog or something like that and burn calories and lose weight. Like. I just don't understand why that's not enough, but whatever. I've read all the research of why. I'm disgruntled about it though. Um, next one is not changing up my routine. So, okay, I'm guilty. I may have been doing pretty much the same exact routine that I was doing last year where I was able to lose weight and I continued it and I wasn't able to lose weight after an amount of time. So maybe it should have been obvious <laughs> for me to know that I needed to change my routine, but it wasn't, um, whatever. Um, but I did, um, Instagram has actually been really cool because I connected with um, a trainer and what is his handle? I think it's level underscore 40 training. Um, I think he's in Pennsylvania, um, so I've never met him or anything, but it's pretty cool. I've talked to him um, a little bit, and he's given me some free advice. 
um, maybe if I send him some followers, i.e. you guys, that maybe he'll give me some more free advice. <laughs> um, but yeah, cool guy. Um, seems like he's got his own little hustle going on and um, so that's awesome. Um, he told me right away when I told him everything that I was doing, he's like, yeah, you, you gotta change your routine every 90 days, dude. I'm like, oh, gotcha. Um, so I did do that and I have seen some results. I actually started going old school, like in addition to just going to Planet Fitness, old school Tybo. <laughs> and I've been able to do it at home. So amen for that extra 30 minutes of sleep. Um, and it's it's been helpful. I've definitely seen some results on the scale, so that's been great. Um, number five, trying to not be like grit and just get all crazy with the count. So I'm glad I wrote it down. Um, number five, not getting enough sleep. Um, I was having a really hard time sleeping for various reasons, and. Um, I started reading a lot about how not sleeping enough hours a day. I think they said you have to get a minimum six to eight for you to just be able to function mentally, physically, all that, and um, for your metabolism and for everything to just keep freaking flowing in your body the way it's supposed to. Um, it's just like, it's a lot. <laughs> so anybody that thinks that losing weight is easy because you're looking over there at the other you know, side of the grass, I hope that you're taking this a little bit to heart. Um, but anyway, so I started doing melatonin at night. Um, that's been pretty helpful. Um, sometimes I just hit it big and just go for the Benadryl. That's just knock out, drag out. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. Um, Benadryl is usually my go-to. Um, I was doing the, ooh, what is it called? Um, z -Quil. Um, and the z -Quil, it works great, but sorry, z is expensive. Um, those little itty bitty, I think they give you like a pack of like 12 tablets for like eight bucks or something crazy. So, Benadryl, three dollars. Um, anyway, number six is not taking vitamins consistently. I was really having a hard time with not taking my vitamins consistently. Um, so now I got me a routine down. And um, it's really important just for, you know, not just for me losing weight and things like that and my metabolism and, you know, just keeping vitamins and nutrients going and my immune system, but my hair and nails. So uber important. Um, I definitely see a difference in my skin and in my hair and my nails and all that when I'm on a good vitamin routine. So pro tip. Um, and if you guys are interested in what vitamins I'm taking, ladies, I'll definitely leave that um, below if that's something you guys want. So someone comment and say, hey. Um, and I actually got these when I was doing, um, well, I got some of them offline, but also um, some of them were recommended when I did have a nutritionist way back when. Um, so I just started getting back on that and um, also added a few of my own that I just Googled. Um, Number seven is not limiting my distractions. Um, that was really, really hard, like I said in my video about my dad, like I'm a secondary caregiver to him and um, he's been doing a lot better, by the way, for anybody that cares. Um, he is, he was in the hospital, he got out of the hospital and he's just been thriving um, a little bit better, like with his memory and stuff like that. Um, this, we've been having great, I know I'm not gonna cry, um, we've just been having really great conversations. Um, I started walking with him on um, Tuesdays and Thursdays usually. And um, just spending time with him and um, the benefit for him, of course, is for him to be just moving around more and stuff like that. He's had a lot of muscle weakness and so, um, it's been really therapeutic, I think, for both of us. So I'm very, very grateful and blessed for the time I've had. Um, but it's really, really hard to manage everything. But I had, I had to. Like I had to get myself in a better routine. Um, 
at managing everything that I had to do because I feel like everything is important. <laughs> you know, like me time is important, my health is important, my dad is important, you know, my mom, my family, you know, and just being able to be around for them. Um, even my nieces and nephews that, you know, I parent from time to time for the weekends. Um, so I, I really just had to take the time to just get a good routine and a good schedule down and that's been helpful. and. I feel good like I feel like I've put in time for everything I needed to do you know as well as you know of course my prayer time and just spending time learning more about God and things like that as well so um, I feel like I'm in a better place so it's it's good um, anyway enough email um, number eight is letting myself get discouraged um, Pretty sure everybody can relate to this for one reason or another, not just related to weight, but when things just are not working out, it's like you just you just give up and you just feel like, you know, trying is just, you know, not worth it. Like, what's the point of trying to keep pushing through something, trying to keep forcing something? Um, so I've really just probably over the last six weeks in particular, um, because I have birthday goals, I was about seven pounds short shy of my goal of what I want to lose by my birthday but it is what it is you know this is a whole new fresh year my birthday was seven seven but it's all good <laughs> um, so I just feel like not letting myself get so discouraged was really just a big deal for me um, to learn to accept setbacks and know that okay Things didn't work out the way I wanted them to be, but if I give up, I'm going to be back where I was before, and I don't want to be back where I was before. So that was really something important for me to learn. Um, I just had to dig deep <laughs> for something that sounds real simple to other people, had to dig deep for. Um, number eight is cheat days versus cheat meals. I think that's pretty much self-explanatory um, that cheat days... If you're gonna gain back two pounds that you lost that week because you had a cheat day instead of just one cheat meal that you could work out and incorporate, I had to learn that the hard way. <laughs> um, I mean, like I said, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, having a whole cheat day is bananas. Um, so cheat meal once a week, it's been going good. Um, last but not least is not logging my meals when you are not keeping track of your meals which um, I think I've said in the past that I use my fitness pal it's been the best for me I've used some other ones um, there's lose it and then there's also um, whatever I don't remember that other one this is a problem in one of my other videos I don't remember all of them but <laughs> I'm using my fitness pal right now it's it's works good so if you're on my fitness pal and you want to connect with me let me know and I'll give you my handle um, think transparency and uh, letting other people see what I'm doing would probably be helpful to me so if you um, definitely need a buddy on there um, I'm more than willing um, so not logging my meals. I mean, if you just do not know what the heck you're doing, you're just out there just eating. Like, even if you're eating good stuff, like, it just does not matter. Because if you're not eating enough or you're, you're eating too much, you just, you just don't know until, you know, so much time passes and then you haven't gotten anywhere. So, I mean... <laughs> It's time consuming and it sucks, but I mean, it, it really is it's so necessary. And even in this week of me being sick and me not logging anything, I'm like, I just, I just don't know. And like I said, that extra freaking pound came on. Um, I was expecting to kind of go back to where I was um, after being sick. Um, but I mean, I could not, I literally could not hold much down. And so... I had to have, you know, rice and bananas and um, ginger ale. 
So all those things were like high sugar and high carbs, but those were the only things that I could eat, that whole brat diet. And I try to go against it. I'm like, I'm gonna eat a salad and it's gonna be okay because I'm gonna pray about it. And God did not answer my prayer about being able to keep that salad down. <laughs> so whatever. Um, I had to I had to do that brat diet, which is bread, rice apples toast oh no um but those are the things that i had to do bread i had to eat bread every day for breakfast because i couldn't hold anything else down if i didn't so it's this struggle the struggle is so so real <laughs> but um logging your meals is so important if you're not doing it you just have to you're just i mean unless you're just one of the lucky few that can eyeball everything correctly and keep track in your head which i feel like is more time consuming because i'm eating the same food so when i go in the app everything is there i'm just you know basically selecting it so it takes less time for me to select it and then add it up myself or then for me to add it up myself so i'm selecting it it's adding it up automatically so I think it's so much easier um, to each his own of course but um, so I let this video get past 20 minutes and um, I've already been scolded by people yelling, hey, your videos are too long blah. but I had a lot to say and it's been a minute so I feel like y'all can take out 20 minutes <laughs> um, clean up your house it's it's the weekend clean up your house while you're listening to me it's I mean do something you know else um that's what i do just listening to music cleaning my house or doing whatever so listen to me clean your house <laughs> get the laundry done um i hate laundry um but anyway if you guys have any questions about any of the things that i said um definitely comment below and let me know if this was helpful at all or you want some more feedback on any of the things that i said let me know um also some i mean i just i mean the video would be insanely long if i told you guys everything that i changed um, to lose and to just kind of pick back up with my weight loss. Um, so if you guys want any other um, info on some of the other things I was doing to lose weight um, the last six weeks, let me know. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I promise. I Okay, I promised in my last video too, but this is my for real, for real, for real, for real promise that I'm gonna start posting more videos. Um, I'm going to definitely do one on my smoothies um, cause I got down packed, simple, easy smoothie recipe. Hands down, so simple. Um, three, four, three to four I'll tell you guys the fourth one the fourth one I'm just not doing right now um but I got three four simple smoothies for you guys so I'll do a video on that um that'll be a lot quicker um also I'm going to do a video on um some of the things that I've done to meal prep and just some of the simple meals that I've been doing for breakfast um and lunch and stuff like that like I said um I work from home so um, I've been cooking a lot more, which is good, but thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and um, we will talk to you later.